absolute pest on the police station. You can see on the back of the I've got that. But if you look down the side, I have Gardi. What's the difference between the Gardi, the Garda, and the guards? Well, who can tell? But well, here we might have a little indicator as to the pagan origins. Two faces. One face is above another. One is an obelisk. An obelisk is a pagan idolatrous thing. A standing stone. Not erected to the Lord with a tool taken upon it. They were clearly carved with a tool. So they're pagan stuff. I don't know what it says there. I don't really want to bow my head. When I'm reading that, they make me bow my head. One side is rough. So what does it stand for? Well, the Gardi added the Danon. The guard uh, the two at the Danon. And the Garda is Gaelic. Gardi, the Gardi, you hear them saying it on the news, but it's spelled different. It's spelled different for a reason, that's because it has two different meanings. That's because they fulfill two different purposes. They're not peace men and peace women as prescribed in the Bible. They are the guards of the religious clerics. That's why all the women that were abused in the mandarin laundries never got justice and never will under this regime. Because the guards are not there to keep the peace, they're there to guard the religious clerics, the republican guards. Today you can see their, their counterparts down in um, Iran, they protect the mullahs, they call the Republican Guards, a couple of months, about a month ago they shot a lot of people. Religious clerics are all subservient to the Vatican. I know this for a fact because in 2008 I went to the Interfaith Conference on behalf of the people of the faith of Christ and from around the world of the Rainbow Warriors and represented in my limited capacity as a young man with limited knowledge so there you have the pagan and what's that obelisk do? that obelisk is polluted that obelisk is taking your life force and pushing it up into the layers the layers of Moab, Gilgamesh, Cain he's the one that started all of this <coughs> and he done a good cover story his cover story is the Epic of Gilgamesh but if you look closely you can see his mouth of operandus and these lots of mouth of operandus the sole object is to deceive they're not peace men and peace women, they're not lawful they're only here to guard the lower proportions of people, they trade in the persons of men it says in the bible that's what they do they trade in the persons of men from the eyes of Elijah, the blue and the purple from the eyes of Elijah, what's the blue? the blue is the uniform of the guards the purple is the uniform of the Jesuit generals who control and initiate warfare because they want to make money the multitude of the warfare is in Damascus and Syria and they trade in the persons of men on the ships what's the ships? Well, when you step into the dock in the boat you trade it as a biological commodity the judge will say to you, good morning, mister, whatever. If you, if you acknowledge mister, Jesus says, call no man master. Mister is short of a master. These are no good to man nor beast. They're, they're like ox to you. Their fathers, and a lot of these people, their fathers and their fathers, fathers, done the Republican Revolution. And they, they went to war up there on the Ishtar. Ishtar, the pagan goddess, the Ishtar Ruizen. East of Russia, Ishtar is an evil, hideous little bitch who loves war. She's the goddess who loves war, loving war, yeah? And every, this, this usurped authority, who has usurped the authority of the kingdom of Hoi ben -Onia. Hoi ben -Onia is the king, the Hoi kingdom of the Hoi king of the tribe of Benjamin, whose god is Yah, Hoi ben -Onia. Probably known to you as Hoi ben -Onia. The tribe of Benjamin were called the tribe of ben -Onia before they were called Benjamin. And when you look around the world to see a true Hebrew altar, Hebrew altar to the Lord, Almighty Yah, Yehovah, Yahweh, Jah, you see a dolmen. Hasn't had a tool lift upon it. The Lord says, if you will lift a tool upon a stone, it is polluted. So when you pollute a stone, it takes your life force. So what they do is they'll be taking your life force. That's polluted. So, that's what's happening to you in this town, it's a pagan town, it's a dirty town, it's a dirty old town. And it was named after my ancestors, the race of Ardov. The Callahans, the tribe of Benjamin, the Ben-Oni tribe. 
Hoi ben on nia, hoi ben nia, hoi ben on nia. This land is ours. My ancestor King Callahan the Good was at the start of the Khan King Alexander the Great. Psalm 61 from the life of the king is many generations. Because if there's no idolatry, you don't die. If there's no idolatry, you don't die. There's no polluted stones. Every not every stone is numbered. Every every person is numbered. So when you, we live in stones, it says in the Bible, what is man but vapor that passeth away in time? In the Bible, all that says the people of all time who go down to the pit. The people that worship time are going to the pit. That's an obvious It's a pagan. It's a pagan thing. It has no place in a Christian country. The Lord says his hand will make utterly waste any nation that doesn't submit to my people. Any kingdom that doesn't submit to my people. Little Benjamin will lead, son of my right hand. Come sit at my right hand and I will make your enemies your footstool. Fair warning given. Any, any nation that doesn't submit will be totally and utterly wasted. That's the Lord, he says, I will make a full end of the nations that will drive you amongst. They will bring back the remnant, the rainbow warriors, who worship the Lord of the spirits, the great spirit, and who he sent the Son of Man to redeem humanity. And you see up there is a polluted building. Inside that building up there, that's the old parliament building. Inside that building is a giant mace. You couldn't pick it up with one hand. Only joints can pick it up with one hand. Have you ever heard of a fella called Gilgamesh? He's in the original stonemason who I reckon built the Tower of Babel. He was a murderer from the start. He's Cain. Cain killed Abel. So he, he covered his tracks, he did. He covered his tracks with the Epic of Gilgamesh and all. He left a few clues because of his ego. But he was the first man to witness death because he was the one that initiated the murder of his brother. So his biggest fear is to die. He's comfortable in his leaves, he's called Moab in the Bible. And these are lion towers. The High King's men were called the Hoy Kings. What's the difference between the High King? The High King went around burning down all the churches and the monasteries because they were polluted stones. The Hoy Kings come from Iceland. Iceland are the Hoy Kings. They were at war with the Nordic, with the Norwegian king and all that. So Callahan took them under his wing and made them his men. So they became the Hoy Kings, the Hoy Kings men. The Norse men and the Normans are something totally different. The Norsemen and the Normans, they work for the Vatican. They build polluted stones, they propagate idolatry. So what we're gonna have to do? I'll tell you where you need to look. You need to go up to the um, War Memorial Gardens and you can see the big big um, stone carved dishes in the shape of um, satellite dishes, pushing water up into the leaves, obelisks. There's obelisks all over this town. The biggest obelisk in Europe is in the Phoenix Park. These people are taking you a life force. They were, it says in the, in the book of Daniel, and he will overpower the saints and wear out the saints. What's wear out the saints? Will you go to sleep when you die? And then when the resurrection comes, when all the water is thrown back by the foot, he jagged, he shows all the water that he stole from us. You people will walk the earth, and that's when they really die. That's when God decides whether you live or die. Whether you spend eternity with God, or you go down to the pit with the people, the pagans that won't submit. And boy, God, you will submit one way or the another. See my feet? That's where they'll be, footstools. The Lord says, it will make your enemies bow to you. So you better get used to the idea that you're going to bow your head to the tribe of Benjamin and the other tribes, and that we, the rams of Nebaoth, and we will be sealed on the forehead. We will be sealed with the, with the Fibonacci hypothesis, the, seal, the rams, the rams' heads, 1.618, the spiral. The rams of Nebaoth, Isaiah, I have made an admin for your forehead harder than flint, said the Lord. Do not be, a, be strong. And a little nation will become a strong nation. And a thousand will be, and one will become a thousand. That's a tribe of Benjamin. Your new rulers, humanity, we're not humanity. We're above humanity, we're not fallen. We're risen up above them, we are a people sought out. A city not forsaken. The holy people, the redeemed of the Lord. And proper respect at his due.